What is up guys? Today we're going to be doing a little computer mod to make some lights come out of this little vent on my PC right here. We'll get some better lighting on it in a minute, but <clears throat> just gonna we're going to go ahead and buy some like I don't know, I guess like lights you would buy for underneath like a car or something like that. But we're basically just going to buy some lights like that, some light strips, put them inside my PC, and it's going to light up out of this vent here and it should look pretty cool. But yeah, it should only cost about 15 bucks or so. But yeah, I'm going to give you guys a quick rundown of my setup. The computer is booted off right now, but... I have Corsair Strafe RBG, keyboard, Razer Mamba Tournament Edition, Blue Snowball Mic, Lenovo H50 computer. I did not build it. It was actually a Christmas present from my sister. Total Beach headset, that's what I used to play, obviously. ViewSonic monitor I think it's 60 hertz and it's a 59 hertz Dell monitor that one's pretty old but yeah this is what it's looking like I also have this Corsair mouse pad <clears throat> looks pretty cool but yeah that's the basic setup so we're gonna do the first step to this mod is to obviously boot down my computer unplug this mess of wires get it all unhooked and we're gonna move it over there to that table so yeah let's just get into this let me get all these unplugged and then I'll be right back. Alright guys, so basically we just got <clears throat> there's two screws in here. There's one here and there's one here. Little teeny screws, Phillips heads. So get those out. Once I got those out, it's got a little handle here you can actually just tug it. There you go. Back plate, or the side plate pops right off. There's your inside of your PC. I'm not really worried about this. This isn't really gonna be doing much. Um That's the inside. Not like that really matters right now. So here's the plan. I'm gonna take this plate. I'm gonna get some light strips from AutoZone or Advanced Auto or someplace like that. Maybe even Walmart. I'm going to put some light strips around this vent. I'm gonna double-sided tape um, some sort of battery box in here. Cause only two screws. So if the batteries die, I can just pop the batteries out and pop new ones in real quick. So. And, you know, no big deal. So right now we're going to go make a trip there and uh, see what we can get for lighting. I want to get lights that will strobe like different colors so it's not just like one color all the time. If it is, I'll probably prefer like red or something like that. But Pretty sick. So we're going to go put some on here and uh, we'll talk to you guys once we get to the store, I guess. So here we go. Also, I just want to say some future plans for this. I'm probably just going to make or order a plexiglass screen for this because I really don't want to, you know, just have these little lights coming out of this vent. I really want to have like a plexiglass side where you can see all the parts in the uh, PC moving around and lighting up really nicely. So that'll be cool. So yeah, that's coming soon too, by the way. Alright guys, so right now we are on our way to the auto parts store. We're going to be going to Advanced Auto. It's like five minutes down the road it's really close so i'll stay tuned in after we purchase our lights i already got the ones i want picked out already looked at them i know what i'm gonna purchase i'm gonna get some red ones they're like 15 dollars so this is a pretty budget little deal here 15 bucks and that's gonna make the red lights inside the van i'm not gonna get too fancy with it right now i would get color changing with the remote and everything but i don't really need all that right now because well, it's not like some crazy like open glass computer or anything. Like if it was, if the whole style was plexiglass, I might go a little bit more overboard with it, but it's not. So we're just gonna rig up some lights with it and uh, just make it look cool out of that one little vent. So yeah, I'll get you guys tuned in here in a minute. All right, guys. So we made it back home. We got these out of the box. For now, the plan is to either tape these to right here. Because that's where the vent comes out. It'll probably be a little easier. So this does have three M dual side tape. So put like them around here, and then put the battery box in this metal part, like right in there, and then rig up the button somewhere where it can just be held down at all times until the battery goes dead. Until that goes dead, then I'll probably splice one of these wires somewhere in here, like a power wire, and then hook up these to that but 
I'm not gonna splice anything yet because right now the battery thing is working, so I don't really need to do any of that. So it's gonna be kind of hood, but it's gonna work, I guess, pretty pretty easily. I mean, it's a pretty straightforward job. All I'm gonna do is double side tape this to here, and then put the box in here, put the button out the back of the PC, right through this hole like that, and then I'll have a way to where I can just push the button down, and it will have the lights come on at all times so i'm gonna go ahead and set the camera down so i'm gonna record me doing this process so I'll be right back you guys so the first step to this sorry if the film is a little bit angled but i apologize for that. that's about all i can do for you guys right now so we're gonna rip this red piece off and we're gonna stick them probably here and right here just so we can oh before we do that let's just mock up and see where it is that actually should be perfect once this plate is on. I don't know if you guys can see, but through the vent, yeah, you can see the metal piece there and the metal piece down there. So this should be a perfect mounting plate. And we should get plenty of light through there. But at the same time, oh, uh, at the same time, I feel like if I mount it on the back wall, like against the wall it's going to be mounted on, it's going to, like, look... You won't be able to like see the LED strips just like boom, you know, right in your freaking face or anything like that. But I, I don't know. I'm just gonna do it like this for now. You can always buy more 3D sided tape. So yeah. Oh, before we do this, let's unravel this cord and make sure it's perfect. Cause I'm gonna I'm gonna wrap it back up anyways, just not right now. Let's go ahead and just take off this little back piece and stick them on there. We're also going to put them in a spot where they won't get very hot and make the computer overheat one and make the glue get hot and just make them fall off. I want to move them over pretty far because I don't want this wire to be sticking out real well. I guess we will have to put it about right there. That's what we do. Just like that. Not as sticky as I was hoping for, but that is okay. Next one now. I hope they'll stay. If they don't, I mean, I might have to rig up a little something something here. Put the second one on. About the same spot. Right there, boom. You guys are planning to do this at home. Um, I highly recommend it. I think it's a cool little way to make your PC look a little bit cooler. I'm just really, 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 really worried that this top one here is going to come unstuck because it didn't, it's not sticking very well. Um, but hopefully it doesn't come undone. The middle's sticking good, but on the outside, it's not sticking very good. I might put a little bit of duct tape in there. I don't know yet. Because the bottom one's stuck on good, though. So also, off camera, I did use, I, I mounted the button already. I have the button, it actually came with a little nut on the end of it. So I just took the nut off and then fed it through one of these little holes and put the nut back on so it can't slide back through. And now I can solidly push it and it's, and it's meant. So, but yeah, there, there they are, that's what they look like. I'm thinking the light is going to get them so hot it might melt uh, the the, the glue on the back, but now I'm just gonna ravel the wires back up, put the battery box in there, and all that, and tape it down to the bottom metal, and then we're gonna give it a test run. So, right back. Alright, so this is a nice little time lapse of it. So I put a little piece of tape on here. It's a little loose, but it should keep it from falling. And, um, like I said, I got my button hooked up. I got the wires raveled up decently. I got the box taped down so it shouldn't slide around everywhere. As you can see, it's pretty, it's, I mean, it's stuck in there enough. And, you know, now we're going to put the cover back on, put our two bolts back in. We're going to give this a test go. So, yeah, let's do that real quick.
Okay, so, I'm not sure what I think about it. I didn't really realize that it only shows, like, right in here. Like, look. That is not at all what I was expecting. It does look cool. But it's not what I was hoping for. So, I really wanted it to be this whole panel event. You know, when I look at the PC, it's going to be more lit up. The lights are just kind of focused on it. So, what I think I'm going to do is I'm just going to pop them off, put the strips on the side panel like the original plan was, and we're going to try again. So, let's do that. Alright, so this, this video is probably way longer than it needed to be, but I actually think this looks way better. It doesn't really pick it up on film. It looks like it's really bright right there, really bright right there, but it's it's really not. It actually looks really good. It kind of, you can, like if you look back, like I can see like my motherboard and my power supply and stuff, so I think it looks pretty cool. The only downside is, over here on my computer setup, my computer, the vent sits away from the screens. So like if I was to take a picture of it, you wouldn't actually see the the lights. Like the lights would be on the other side. So that's the only bad part about it. But I'm just gonna get everything hooked up, turn my keyboard on. I'll probably take a picture from this angle so you can see the lights. And yeah, so let me get it hooked up and be right back. Alright guys, so there it is. Powered on. I just kinda hoodly rigged a little pin back here to just hold the button down. It works good, so. Fabricate that up a little bit. There you go. It looks pretty dope though like this It's a pretty cool little pick from this angle I don't even know if I'm gonna have it on it all the time because I've been thinking you know What if those batteries heat up to like some ridiculous degrees and freaking explode inside my computer? So we're not even gonna Leave them on at all times got the blue and red match Coming outside computer red Here you guys for $15.99 I have lights coming out of the vent sad because I used to use this desk right here and it had the computer sitting here and the vent was on this side so I could actually um I could have seen the lights if it was sitting on the right over there I could have seen it, the vent but kind of sucks because you know when I'm sitting at my PC like this I can't even see it so pretty pointless job but it looks cool I'll probably relocate the PC to that side just because of that right there. Just because of that. But, I don't know. We'll see. Here you guys go. Um, the red computer lights. Hope, you know, you guys do this yourselves. I do not really recommend using the batteries. I'm just going to use the batteries on and off until they either die or I decide to do some sort of other power supply. Forward, I might fabricate a switch in the back into here and then line the switch up to some sort of power so it'll work the lights at all times. So there you go. I mounted them to this back panel and they look pretty cool. So if you guys want to do the same thing, go right ahead. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. Like the video for me. And I uh, hope to see you guys in the next one. Peace out.